In the span of 50 meetings, the PGA has become the second largest annual international meeting of anesthesiologists in the world. We pay tribute to our founder, Emery Andrew Rovenstein. Words from his eulogy are perhaps the most appropriate for the celebration of this 50th meeting of the PGA. He was dedicated to teaching, as few men in this age have been. The fruits of this work are evident in the living memories of all those who came under his tutelage and then left his teaching forums with a firm spirit and a rededication to serve suffering man. At his death on November 9, 1960, 34 of his residents were heads of departments in medical centers nationwide. No less than 75 of his Bellevue family were ensconced in the academics of anesthesiology. But there's a mixture of uh, filial appreciation. Uh, I think we love the man genuinely. Uh, and also uh, one of awe. Uh, he was an astounding role model. Uh, he uh, was really caring about the people in his department. And I think he did a great deal to uh, lead them in the right direction insofar as their future is concerned. Uh, the number of his residents that uh, remained in academic anesthesia and went on to lead departments of their own, I think, speaks for that. As uh, uh, chair of that department, he, he was very much involved in the educational activities of the uh, community. The Monday night uh, M&M conferences were uh, notorious even, for, especially for residents who were put on the hot seat, but uh, people from all over the community came. Uh, the PGA, which he was instrumental in getting started, his involvement with the board, and all these other things. Uh, he believed that you had to be a complete uh, person in the area of uh, anesthesia practice, etc. And uh, I think what happened is the spirit was there and the people in the department just saw that and uh, continued on the same way. What began in 1945 as a meeting to serve the needs of returning armed forces physicians has evolved into an international meeting of historic proportions. The driving force behind this venture the educational spirit of Emory Andrew Rovenstein is alive and well. Despite changes of format, days of the week, and time of the day, the PGA still depends on its panels to fully cover a subject, from basic sciences research to its clinical application. Used to educate medical students, teach residents, and keep practicing anesthesiologists current, the PGA story has and will always be education and service to anesthesiology, a meeting in service to the specialty. Next year, the second woman general chair, Elizabeth A.M. Frost, will lead the PGA. What better way to begin the next 50 years and embark upon the next century? <laughs>